crafty ones this is pam pam's paper place and i showed you my farmhouse journal the other day you know i have um five of these little ephemera packs they're in a nice sturdy box so i thought i'd show you what i have in here let's see i can get it better this way so let's clear off a little space after i'm making a journal boy things get pretty messy and i cannot find i ordered um one thing that i wanted to put in here was a barn a playing card and i don't know where they went um and they were kind of expensive when i bought them but anyway if i find them i'll add uh, that but otherwise this is what you'll get you'll get um some wallpaper this is some cool vintage wallpaper there you will get um this little fabric stash and it comes with like this lace um some little things to decorate your journal some bits of doily and lace and then you will get some fabric for clusters or whatever you will get um like a sheet to make a, a snippet roll two of them actually So if you wanted to, you know, for your, if you want to make a snippet roll there, here's some lace for a flipper. Snippet roll, then here's a vintage bed sheet. So those are some things there. And then we also have some of this like part of a vintage curtain flips or whatever we have uh, this could be used as the tie it's a long piece of this vintage bed sheet for whatever you'd like I have a safety pin that you can use on uh, this lace here another little lace Chanel gingham a wood tag, a jean pocket, flannel, a ticking, and then this you would um, make for your cover if you wanted to. That would be this side. And there might be a little, you know, you won't see this side, but you would put this like I did here. And then you probably have to cut it and sew it to fit your journal. But that's what I used here. And then for the back, that. And then I have a piece of burlap. And, and so I'll have five of these listed. There's a large envelope that you could put in your journal few things in here a puzzle piece that I showed how I did it a little vintage recipe and you know everything will be different but um a roll coin roll you can make a tag out of that some note paper like a vintage um I don't know if I, do I mean to put two in here no um it's um like a vintage recipe page So that goes back in here and everything will be similar but won't be you know exactly let's see I have some of this um, which is a piece of wallpaper Couple receipts, this gold bond, two of those. Farm to table. 
this here, this one, this one, this one. We have some different doilies and tissue from a sewing pattern and another beautiful piece of wallpaper. Here's some more that sewing paper. Uh, this size window envelope, a napkin. Let's see here. Did I just hmm. Did I put this out? This wallpaper that comes with it. Uh, we have this little package with um, some Dick and Jane images, a time card, a coupon, a large playing card, a bingo card, this checked um, deli paper, and an envelope. A lot of variety things. And then... See. And then I have this pack of things here. It'll be like stamps, a uh, couple tabs. You'll get playing cards, um, game cards, etc. in there. And then here is like ribbons and buttons and a little bit of Work rack. Uh, this was a scan. Um, you could, you know, cut it here and then, like, so long here you can make two um, tucks or whatever. You just have to back it on something. Here's a copy of a vintage pillow. Uh, here's a copy of a simplicity pattern you can make for a pocket. Uh, you can cut this out and use that as a tuck, like I did. Uh, this you could ink up and crumple up and use in there. It's a copy. These are copies here. This is a, um, I made this so that you could cut this uh, into tags. I did this like collage and then copied it. Here's a copy of one of my doilies you can cut out and around and put in your journal. This you can make into an envelope like I did. Copy of a quilt I have. This is another copy of a quilt. You could use that. Here's a copy of this dress pattern from the 40s, or a dress, it's an advertisement for those dresses. This is a copy of this jean pattern. Then we have different papers, like um, three pages of uh, recipes from a better Betty Crocker, or that type of uh, cookbook. We have some other pages from a different cookbook, vintage pages. This is a page from like an herb book, I believe. And we have three vintage, no, I'll be different, of these vintage from the 30s or 40s. So you'll get three of those, 1947, I believe. Um, and then the Therma. Some more ephemera. Oops. You'll get a little thin Rolodex, a tally card. You'll get some type of a card. Uh, you'll get one of these uh, funny little or cute little cards here, postcards. You'll get a card in an envelope. You'll get some um, some of these recipe cards and some like a flower or garden card. You'll get one of these while you're out. You'll get a guest check. You'll get something like this paper, a bridge. You'll get different recipe cards. These recipe cards. Note, note paper. Note paper. Might be similar, might be different. You'll get these different size index cards. 
And here's some notes paper. And then I use these in my journal. Picnic page. These are like stationary pages. There's one with a rooster. Or a chicken. Here's another one. Here's that picnic page. And then you'll get different types of line paper. There's two. And you'll get um, some vintage graph paper. A couple ledger. One is this really big one. It's a ledger. Uh, you get some of this I ordered um, on Amazon. It looks like full three pieces of that um, paper. So coffee dyed. Then you'll get different farm pages. Similar books, but not the same images, of course. Uh, you get quite a bit. You can cut them out, you can collage them, you can use them any way you want. Pages. This is like a bird book you could collage. Here's from a recipe book. Dick and Jane. It's a little kind of like a farm book. You have a crocheted page. A workbook page. This cute little mouse book page. This farming page and uh, a little child did right across here, but um, you can still, you know, cut it and use it for pockets. So, yeah, child did right. But... And this page, more farming types of farms. This is from a book with some like recipes. You could cut them out or use them as pages. Three of those type. Similar in each one. This is like an embroidery book page. You'll get like a sewing book page. And then this book you'll get um, one, two of these that fold out with farm type images. So similar. Here's another book page. And then a couple more this year on fun. So that is um I believe that is it. Yes, yeah, so quite a few things that you will get to make a journal and then uh, hopefully I will have a tutorial soon is how I made mine. So um, thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.